Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. We're at part two of the Super Mario Brothers 3 commentary. Before we get started, we have another you know, match and mini game here. That Children's I don't think I card ever, game. Yay! I don't think I ever complete. I think out of the, all the times I played Mario Brothers 3, I think I've only successfully got 100% of the card matching, maybe a handful of times. That's a lot more than I can it say. It only has a certain number of patterns, so. Yeah. And it stays the same until you clear the entire thing, so, you know. Yeah. You yes. just have to be good at memorizing where the stuff is. Yeah. Memory is not my strong suit, so. No, it's yeah, short term. I, I, I have to commit stuff to long term before I can say it. What you know, need I'm, to do is I'm have a notepad on hand. No! We don't live in the 80s anymore. That's <laughs> cheating. <laughs> No, it's Clearly not. Cheating. No, it's, it's not. It's cheating nowadays. It wasn't cheating then. You only, you, you, That's you know. what the notes section in the back of the instruction <laughs> manual is for. Shh. Or the, the the notes or the notes app in the 3DS that I always forget exists. <laughs> can you even use that while you're playing a game? Uh, yeah. You can. Get, you go to the home menu and you can open it. It it's a, it takes a, a little bit of time for it to load up, but you know, it's you're not wasting paper, so you you know. I'd rather just use stuff. my phone. <laughs> <laughs> What what are you standing on the? <laughs> Were you standing on coins? Yes, Apparently, I think so. No, no, I'm in hell. Now, now, imagine if this were a Wario game. I can't get the coins. <laughs> oh, what, what the, the, that's pretty hilarious. This is a, a glitch tastic playthrough. No, that's because he hit the P switch and the Koopas that were supposed to help you exit the level <laughs> got stuck in between blocks once they reached Such a strange and mysterious world. <laughs> Results not typical. Results not typical. <laughs> I, I, I swear I saw that the Koopa shell just passed through Mario there. <laughs> well, yeah, if you're at point blank range when you kick it into a block, uh, it, it's not considered active until like uh, one body length away from Mario, so. That's handy. One thing uh, I will not be showing off c compared to my lies for the white mushroom house, I'm sorry, blue mushroom house, uh, last part, is the fabled treasure ship. And you want to know why? Because the stipulations for getting that thing to appear are ridiculous. It's getting a certain score, and... I have a list right here. Oh, god. The player must be either in Grassland, Seaside, the Sky, or Iceland, so it's only in specific worlds. A Hammer Brother must be on the map. Mario or Luigi must finish a stage with a coin total ending in a multiple of 11. Zero doesn't count. The 10 digits of the player's score must match the multiple of 11. And finally, as each second left on the timer will award the player 50 points, the timer must be stopped on an even number so that the number of points received is a multiple of 100. You get all that? That's what? pretty dumb. <laughs> that is pretty I've dumb. I've been out once by pure freaking accident. It's always by pure freaking accident that I see <laughs> that thing appear. Here I, I don't comes know. the sun. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> Here comes the sun. Now <laughs> die! It's not all right. That's kind of <laughs> <laughs> you know something? Uh, I always kind of laughed at people for believing stuff like the Mew rumor and Pika. No, it, th those Mew rumors exist because stuff like this actually happens. That, that's what I mean. When, when games do stuff like this, stuff like that list of requirements for a secret, I can see why people believed that. <laughs> you need to hold your Game Boy upside down on a rainy Tuesday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and then you have to go to the Seafoam Islands and step in five circles, uh, counterclockwise to the rhythm of the... the, the, the ah. To the rhythm of the beat. Let's <laughs> <laughs> you do this. Spin around stuff. <laughs> Double take three times. <laughs> do games these days really do stuff like that anymore? Because I can't no. really think of any. No, because game fact game facts exist, so there's really not a point. <laughs> That's that, fair. Then they just put all the secrets as a uh, DLC now. <laughs> or there you go. There or you it's go. just, like, random uh, number generator, because in, like, a Shin Megami Tensei 4, you can fight the fiends from the uh, Nocturne, but they, they like, they have a 1 in 256 chance of appearing in a specific part of the map, and not even just, like, going to a room you have to, like, walk over, like, a specific section of the... It, it you know, sometimes you, you get a... Oh my god, the... <laughs> you see, I can't watch this playthrough and talk because something weird is going to happen that the game tr it doesn't expect and get me to laugh. <laughs> well, we're slowly recessing back into doing weird shit to unlock certain things. Like, doesn't uh, 
correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't Gen 6 of Pokemon have oh, a Pokemon Oh yeah, you have to turn- evolve? you actually have to turn the, the oh, 3DS yeah. upside down to evolve Inkay, Inky, however you pronounce it. Inkay. And that's just Inkay, okay. And then that- that I think is probably, you know, uh... I didn't believe that at first when I first heard about that. I was just like, there's no way they would actually do something like that for How would you evolution. figure out how to do that on your own? I think it's meant to be a joke, <laughs> but it, uh, not to mention how would it evolve once they get rid of the uh, gyroscope feature for a Will they ever get point. rid of the gyroscope feature? To be fair, how do you play? Well, how once they eventually yeah. come up with a 3DS uh, emulator, how the heck are you going to evolve it when you play it on that? Well, you don't? there isn't There's, much reason. Yeah, you don't. The gyroscope <laughs> because I don't. I don't think the gyroscope is in itself a particularly expensive component. No, not really. They put them in the, the Wiimotes, and those are pretty cheap. You can get them for, like, 20, 30 bucks. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So. It's like, you know, you know it, it's like, you know, I, like, they didn't even get rid of, I think, motion control in the PlayStation controllers, and nobody hardly ever uses that. The, the, the original six-axis controller was light as a feather. People thought it was going to break at, like, the slightest inclination because of that. And all it had inside it was the six-axis. <laughs> <laughs> I think part of I think you know the it's just a similar sort of thing to the to the microphone because not an awful lot of games use it. Like the only thing I use my microphone on my 3DS is to uh, see the little uh, game titles blow around on the main menu. Um, <laughs> uh, but um, I guess it's a just in case sort of thing. But yeah. it, it, it's such a cheap component. There's no there's no point taking it out. So you might as well include it just in case. Yeah, like Masay says, just in case a designer decides to use it. Hooray, you're showing off the secret area. Yay. Yeah, you beat the hammer, brother, you got a hammer item. You used to break this rock, you get the little three oasis there. It's so nice. And unnatural. I've Let's never seen stuck. this before, so... You get a frog oh. suit in the desert world. <laughs> no, uh, Mario puts on the, the suit. Oh my god, Luigi, get the, these guys off me. <laughs> 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 Ooh, that sounds unnatural. <laughs> Our uh, introduction, uh, introduction to Fire Brothers, and we got a warp whistle. Uh, Mario Three introduced a lot of uh, mainstays for the series in terms of enemy selection. You know, you got the uh, you got the Boomerang Brothers, you got the the Fire Brothers. You have uh, one thing. You know, as much as we give future games shit for reusing a lot of Mario Three assets, we can all agree that fundamentally Mario Three is still a great game. Yeah, right? I, I like Mario Three just fine. Yeah. Just tired of seeing it and everything. Definitely, yeah. There you go. It, it's it's just sort of it's hard to blame Mario Three for the the mistakes that other games make in trying to emulate it a little bit too much because you know I like Mario Three but I like it I like Mario Three not other things trying to be Mario Three uh, well, if that makes sense. It, it's kind of like the Sonic the Hedgehog sense. situation. I mean we all love Green Hill Zone. We just don't so much like Splash Hill. Schmeel Zone. <laughs> <laughs> no wait, Splash Hill. That's an even better Schmeen Schmeel Zone. <laughs> yeah. Windy Hill too. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, you know, uh, it, it, the, the later games get a bit of, uh, obnoxious and annoying and trying to emulate old crap, but that's not going to keep us from enjoying the old crap when we go back to it. I would agree, yes. It just ultimately kind of puts me off a little bit because it's like, yeah. well, if I'm going to be playing Mario 3, you know, again and again and again, because that's all Nintendo seems to know how to do for their 2D Mario games, I'm not going to play Mario 3 anymore. It didn't so much start with New Super Mario Brothers on the DS. I don't believe anyway. You know, New Super Mario Brothers on the DS was you know the first 2D Mario game to be released since World. Uh, so from that time gap, I still think they didn't have a foundation they could rely on to ensure success. But then after that game, and starting with I would say, uh, not so much Wii. No, we was 3D. I would say 3D Land. Is when they really started whoring out Mario Three. Aesthetics. Yeah, I can I can kind of agree there. That was part of the reason why I couldn't really get into 3D Land that much. Like I liked the game just fine, but it felt so just. 3D Land is the epitome of safe. Yeah, it there does, you go. It does nothing new. It does nothing different. It does nothing to distinguish itself from other games besides that it's a handheld on a 3DS that has a 3D feature. Yeah. In terms of everything else, it's all been there, done that. And to a lot of people, that can turn them off when they're expecting something new. Uh, I don't want to, to think of 3D Land that way, personally. Mostly just because uh, it did technically... You know, trying to combine the, the, the 2D Mario 
sort of vibe in the 3D Mario gameplay was an interesting idea in uh, on paper. I think I just, you know, I think they needed to, to put a little bit more oomph into it. Well, you know, with the if it ain't broke, don't fix it mentality aside, you know, it still delivers. It's just that there's nothing new here. And I know a lot of a lot of people that would turn them off from it. You know, like I want to play something That was kind of the new. situation that I was in. I was just kind of like I kind of wanted something a little bit new, at least something. Well, well, here's here's the, here's the thing. Uh, actually, first there, death. There, there is. <laughs> Oop, sig- there it is. There is a significant um uh, uh, uh element in the Mario fan base that uh dislikes 3D Mario because it's not like 2D Mario enough. I don't. No, well, I don't... It's not really such a huge, like, uh, portion. Because, like, I know the 3D games don't sell nearly as well as the 2D ones. But Galaxy and Galaxy 2 are some of the most wild, uh, critically acclaimed uh, games in the past 10 years. I know yeah. that, but 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 uh, these people are, are more like looking at at surface impressions. They want they want more linear platforming. They want mushrooms instead of a health bar. They want you know power ups to work the way the power ups work. Which is it's a positive, but that's a positive I have in in favor of 3D Land and 3D World is that they incorporated power ups back so that they're not situational anymore. More, you know, yeah. that's the one thing. That's the that's the one thing they were getting wrong since '64. You know, you can only use the Medal of Vanish cap for this one particular power star. Same with Flood. Although I love Flood, though. Uh, but Galaxy, same thing. It never really, the 3D- honestly, it never really bothered me all that much. Uh, like- it, but it's only because I, you know, I've been playing Mario since the first game, where power ups were, and I'll say it over and over again, an extension of Mario's abilities. You don't, you just use them for one particular thing. You can take them wherever you want to go, as long as you don't get hit. That and you don't necessarily need them. Uh, which one is this? This is, this is Morton. This Morton. Is Morton. He just hit you without you taking damage. Uh, I call it right now. You're using a hacked copy. Uh, Game genie, sorcery, wizardry. Actually, I, d- I did this by accident uh, while I was playing last night. But if you jump on them while they're spinning through the air in their shell and you land on top of them, you'll just sort of repel off their shell. And yeah, it doesn't it doesn't cause damage. damage. Yeah. That's interesting. Santa Claus. It, it, it's 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 hard to do on purpose though. It, it's more something that's going to happen by accident if you happen to be above them and they jump out while they're still in their shell uh, and hit you in the foot. You can stomp on your enemies using Karibo's shoe. Oh, we'll get Yu-Gi-Oh up here. I don't play. I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> not to mention we're not. At, not to mention we're not at that point yet. No, we're not. <laughs> Kind of I, like, gun a bit here. I, I like how the level progression in this game starts with the green level, then the desert level, then the other green level. Okay, thanks. No, this is the water world. Yeah. Well, I know. And <laughs> you immediately get. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, so I, I frog suit. <laughs> I know it's the water world, but once you're on ground, it's going to be a green level again. Ooh, where's Kevin Costner? <laughs> I had an active. Bit when I did that. That's why I, that's why I crouched there on top of the plate. <laughs> Why did you? You just picked it up by, on instinct. I picked it? it up by accident. I was like, oh, that was dumb. <laughs> I, I have to mention really quick, since we're talking about the worlds, I find it interesting how like every second world in anything ever is basically a desert world. Like every single time. It, it's yeah. particularly noticeable with Mario. It's Mario tradition, and it's getting annoying. <laughs> Like, the second area that you go to in a Tales game is, like, desert, usually. Uh, yeah, you're right. The, that's, like, the Tales of Symphonia had one. I, I th- yeah. I think... It, did Abyss have one? I played that I game I think ago. Abyss did. I think. Okay. I think. And, and you know what? I freaking hate that in games, because the desert level is always boring. If, you know what? Oh, not, not always, but, you know, just, like... Most of the time, it feels like it's just there to have a desert. And, I, I, like... I wouldn't say that about this game, or even other Mario games with deserts. Like, they're, they're a less interesting trope than some of the others, but they're still fun to play. But I don't know, sometimes they can be really frustrating. <laughs> well, some deserts aren't a particularly interesting real-life location, though. It's just sand, and as we all know, we hate sand. It's coarse. It's rough. It gets everywhere. Obligatory reference made. Continue, Lewis. <laughs> 
I, I know this, and it wouldn't bug me so much, except it's so frickin' early in the game, and that's when I'm looking for interesting stuff to hook me on to stuff, because it's a lot easier to put up with, 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 uh, less entertaining level tropes and stuff. If they come later on, and you're already, t and you're already too hooked on the, on the game as a whole to care. That's but I fair enough. I, I think half of the reason that I keep losing interest in Mario 3 is because of the desert level at the very beginning. <laughs> He would like 3D World. Well, he did like 3D World. He was there with yeah. us when he played it. <laughs> yeah, I just I just mean overall. Yeah, 3D Land actually continues something that I really loved about Galaxy was that there's no rhyme or reason to the worlds you go into. Not, there's no connections. Like the overworld, yeah, you see grassy knolls and you see a desert or mountainous regions, but the Galaxy what well, the Galaxy or level in 3D Land's case you're heading into may have nothing to do with what world you're in. Oh, okay. so, it, so it's, like so it's that, Sonic yeah. Lost World. You think you're in yeah. a desert, but you're playing on pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's a lot. That's a pun being made into a level. I know, but there was, but 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 there wasn't a whole lot of desert in the desert level in 3D in Lost World, and for that I am uh, exceptionally grateful. Yeah, using a star because you're scared of Big Bertha. Uh, yeah, uh, well, th th this thing has two names. I or think it's boss, Big Bertha. Or Boss Bass. Or Boss no, I Bass. Can't, I isn't think... the, the fish from Mario World called Big Bertha? Or something? I, I, I think they're the you. same. I think the one in 64 is Boss Bass. And this is Big Bertha. No, not, or is it Boss Bass just to, to screw with people? Because people you... call bass from Mega <laughs> Man I don't think it plays <laughs> music. I don't think it plays music. <laughs> Oh. Hey Mario, let me devour you with these sick tunes. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> that was very close. I, I, unless I'm mistaken, Mario's sprite in the 16-bit version is larger than his hitbox. No, I think it's around the same. I think it's slightly bigger, just depending on what you're doing. Exactly. It's probably a, it's probably a square or a rectangle. Well, uh, case in point, the big fish just sort of passed through your feet there. Oh, well, because there is no feet. Mario without feet? No, it's more like a really obscure Matrix reference. <laughs>